What is up guys, AJ here, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to hard reset or hard restart your Surface Book. This technique is also gonna work for your Surface Pro, Surface Go, and of course, the Surface Book. If you're having issues with your Surface device, it could be something like the screen is responding to your pen or it's not responding to your touch input, your Surface Book might not be disconnecting, or your computer just isn't working in the way it should, a hard reset will likely fix the issues that you're having. Think about it like this, it's, it's almost like you're taking the battery out of the device where it completely shuts off and then you, you're putting it back in. So it does a complete hard reboot. So to do a hard reset is really, really simple. You press the power and the volume button, you hold these until the screen turns black, and what will happen next is that the Surface logo is gonna flash, it's gonna appear, but keep holding it. So right now the screen's gone black, and next we'll see the Surface logo appear. My fingers are still gonna stay on the buttons. So the logo's here, but you can see I'm still holding it, and this is forcing it from a soft reboot to a hard reboot. And after a few seconds, it, we're gonna enter into the BIOS or the, the Eufy stage. Right closer in for you. So you see we've got a number of options here. You don't actually have to change anything on here. We're just simply gonna hit the exit option and we're gonna go restart now. There it is. It's that simple. You see the computer's gonna restart itself. It's gonna take a little bit longer. It's reassessing itself after the hard reboot. So normally surfaces will turn on within a few seconds. After a hard reboot, it can take another 20, 30 seconds, but that's okay, that is normal, and my computer is good to go. So this computer wasn't having any issues, and I found that with the later generations of Surface devices, and of course the later firmware updates, there are less and less reasons to do a hard reboot, but if you ever do run into any issues, that's how you do it. A hard reboot may fix a lot of the issues that you were having, but I'd recommend that after your PC has done the hard reboot, go into your settings and check for updates. To do that, again, really simple. You press the start button, type in update, and Windows search will give you the op options. Top one is check for updates, and then just make sure your computer is up to date because whatever issue you may have been experiencing is likely gonna be fixed with a firmware or software update that is just waiting to be pushed through. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, you know what to do, hit that like button, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.